So let me share with you guys my ECE experience. In this center, I've worked from August 2023 to April 2024. So there are three rooms in our center. That is the Bambino room. We have six months to two years old babies. And then after that, we have the Piccolo room. We Inside there, they have two years old to 3.6 years old. And then the third one is the Scuola room, which is for 3.6 years old to 5 years old. And I am in the Bambino room or in the baby's room. So on those three rooms, we have three responsibilities or two three duties every day that changes okay so it, it doesn't mean that your nappies for today you'll be nappies for the whole week so those three duty duties or responsibilities are inside person outside person and the nappy person so the first one i'll talk about is the inside person or the inside teacher so when you when i was um the inside person what i do is I prepare bottles for those uh, for those babies who need um, milk, okay? So formula milk or cow's milk. And then after that, we wash and sterilize them. We also prepare foods for them, uh, which in our center before, we start at 9 in the morning. So those that is their kai time, 9 o'clock. After 9 o'clock, what we do is we change their nappies at around 10 uh, AM. So that is the second duty. The nappy person will be the one who will change the nappies of all the babies, clean the toilets, swipe the floor after, and uh, throw the garbage twice or once and then put it in the garbage bin or in the rubbish bin. And then the third duty is the outside person. That outside person... Um, prepares everything like the bike, the sand pit, open the sand pit, and then close the sand pit at the end of the day. Um, we have to check for the babies who are playing outside, doing slides or, you know, walking and make sure that they are not eating anything from the ground. And then what else? After that, um, so those three duties, again, inside, outside, and nappy person. So aside from the outside duty, as I've said a while ago, we also do inside duty. So, or all those duties. So all the teachers are gathered together to put the babies to sleep. So after they had their lunch at 11 o'clock, we put them to sleep at around 11.20 to 12 o'clock. So before we put them to sleep, we have to uh, clean their face and their hands so that when they go to sleep, you know, they feel good they feel clean and then our goal is to you know have them a good sleep after taking a nap uh, we prepare again to go outside and play from uh from the time they wake up to 2 p.m because 2 p.m is another kai time kai time is when they eat again or they have their snacks so one of the good things in my center by the way is we have foods for the children okay not just in my room but all the other three rooms so it's an option for parents if they want to bring other foods for their children and of course one thing that you should take note when you're preparing foods for the children is know if they are allergic to something because some of the babies are not allowed to have uh, cow's milk so just make sure that you know those simple things because, of course, we want to take care of our babies or our tamariki. Our, not just babies, but in all other rooms. Um, I also want to talk about our duty. So duty hours. Um, when I was working in that center, I we don't have, uh, you know, the clock in, clock out uh, tablet. But what we have is we have to write what time we come in. For work and then what time will we clock out um also one of the things that uh i remember is we have to go to our work 10 minutes earlier just to prepare ourselves also for another day you know you always do your best for the children because at the end of the day it's always for our children 
not just for ourselves, but also for the sake of the children that we are going to handle for that day. And we want to make sure that they are uh, doing okay. When it comes to working hours, we work for seven to eight hours. So that was the contract. We, we open, our, our center opens from 7.30 to 6 o'clock p.m. So you could be the morning person, meaning you will be the one to open the center. You know, um, the trust here, trust here in New Zealand is really amazing because can you imagine as a teacher, they will give you the key to the center or keys to the center for you to open it. And as a responsible person, you're in charge of that whole center the moment you enter it because you are the only person who will be opening the center or there will be somebody with you to help you set up everything like a teacher aide okay or another teacher same as you um a registered teacher so just like what i've said we work for seven to eight hours so 7 30 to 3 30 and then we have a 30 minute unpaid lunch so i think that is one of the good things also because yeah nobody can bother you lastly we have to write stories for the children at the end of the month so those stories would be focused on the goal of the parents so aside from you as a teacher you will also talk to their family talk to their family about what do they want their children to achieve so it's a teamwork so you have to make stories about it and then yeah i think writing stories about the children as long as you are engaging with them learning with them it will be super easy to work or to write things about it i hope you've learned something today bye